Hey everybody, how's it going? <clears throat> Sorry, it's been a while since the last video. I figured uh, we'll do a quick tip tonight. I had a question from um, uh, from Chris coming over on the uh, in the channel chat. So, Chris, thanks for the question. The question was, how can you make two two separate coils, um, but have the 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 coil properties be slightly different? So, let's say the top half of the coil has say five revolutions, but the bottom portion of the coil maybe only has two resolutions, but it's closer together. <clears throat> and so there's no way to really do that in one coil property. Um, and, and Chris, I think you hit it on the head, which was make two coils and you basically then join them together in one body. Um, so here's, here's how you do that. So hopefully uh, this is pretty clear. So I've got a new, <clears throat> a new workspace here. So we're just gonna go up here to create and come down to coil. And I'm gonna pick this uh, bottom plane here. And then from the middle, I'm just gonna come out, let's say 50 millimeters. Um, and so over here, right, you've obviously got your properties going on just for fun stuff. So our diameter, right, the diameter is 50. I'm gonna say the revolutions on this is five. Um, and we need to change our section size so that the, the diameter of the coil, I'm gonna just call that something like five. So that's where we start. Um, and we'll call this, let's say the top half of it or the top portion of it. Um, and actually, why don't we, why don't we change the height of this thing? So the height, you can see the height here is 37 and a half millimeters. Let's just do an even 100 just to sort of show this a bit better. And so now we're going to say, okay, now this height is going to be the key. Um, and your revolutions are going to be the next key, right? So the height right now we're, we're going positive. So up. The second coil we're going to do, we're going to do it on the same plane, but we're going to go negative down some portion um, and change our revolutions, <clears throat> right? So hit OK here and do the same thing. We're going to go back over here to create and coil. We're on the same bottom plane here. I'm going to come out, click that center and come out to 50 again. We'll just type in 50, hit enter. So now you can see it's automatically wanting to go up. <clears throat> so why don't we change this to negative 100? So now we're down at the bottom. And you can see here our section size is still pretty big. So now if we change this to five, now we're just one big coil. But what we can do then is um, you can actually change your revolutions to say something more like 10, right? To squeeze in your coil because you're still at a total height of 100 millimeters here, right? You can change this to, to whatever, 15, whatever you want to do, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Or you can get tricky in here and actually say, and I want to change my section size to something more like two. <clears throat> and you're always going to be in and you can join these, no problem. It's just, you know, functionally, if you're going to do something that's going to be a little bit wacky. So um, if you're just wanting to keep the same section size, there you go. <clears throat> and now if I just hit this join, right, if the operation down here is join, cut, intersect, whatever, and I hit OK, now I'm just one body. Right? I've only got one body shown over here. So that's that. So now you got a coil with with uh, two different revolutions, uh, same heights. And again, right, you can always go back and, and change this to, uh, to whatever height you want. But that's, that's Chris, how you would do that, right? If you wanted to have a variable revolution coil as a single body, uh, you hit it on the head, uh, just, just make two coils, but make sure you're doing the second one, either in the positive or opposite of the, the other one, and you're good to go. So, um, so there you go. There's your quick tip, a couple coils and, um, uh, yeah, so there you go. So hope that, hope that helps. Thanks a lot.